39. Using the equation of the previous problem, find the viscosity of motor oil in which a steel ball of radius 0.8 millimeters falls with a terminal speed of 4.32 centimeters per second. The densities of the ball and oil are 7.86 and 0.88 grams per milliliter, respectively. All right, so the equation from the prior problem was this, that the uh, terminal velocity will be equal to 2 multiplied by the radius of solid, solid object squared, excuse me, multiplied by g, all divided by 9 times the viscosity. That whole thing multiplied by the density of the solid minus the density of the liquid. And that's it. Now it's asking us to solve for viscosity, right? Find the viscosity, it says. So where's the viscosity? It's right here. It's eta, okay, lowercase h. So now, you know, we could do some crazy mathematics. Not crazy, but it, the, the simple way to solve for this is just take it out of the denominator here on the right-hand side, bring it on up into the numerator on the left-hand side, and then you got to bring V, which is essentially in the numerator on the left-hand side, bring it down into the denominator on the right-hand side. And look, you just solve for it. Easy enough. Okay, you can always do that whenever you're moving variables across an equal sign. You can always move them across. Okay, by, by across, I mean crisscross. All right, you cannot move them linearly or horizontally. You can only move them diagonally. Anyway, here's the formula. Now we could just plug everything in if we only had all the right units. But of course, we don't. So we have to do some conversions, right? So this is the radius that's in millimeters. We need it in terms of meters. So take that and divide it by 1,000 or multiply it by 10 raised to the minus 3. doesn't matter to me what you do, uh, 0.8. So this is going to be times 10 to the minus 3, and that's going to be now in terms of meters. And there we go. And the terminal speed, it told us centimeters per second, and we need that in meters per second. So divide that value by 100. So it's going to be 0 0.0432 and that's in meters per second. Great, so that is the velocity, the terminal velocity. And it now tells us the densities, and they give us the, the densities in grams per milliliter, but we need them in kilogram per cubic meter. So the relationship is that there, you know, you would take these values in grams per milliliter and multiply it by 1,000, okay? So it'd be 7.86 times 10 raised to the three. That's gonna be the value in kilogram per cubic meter. And similarly, you do the same thing here. So it'd be uh, 0 0.888 times 10 raised to the 3 kilogram per cubic meter. Now we got everything we need in the right units. Now we can plug everything in, right? So the viscosity here is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by the radius in meters. So that's going to be 0.8 times 10 to the minus 3. And that whole thing is squared, multiplied by 9.8. All right, then divided by 9, now multiplied by the terminal velocity, here is 0 0.0432. Then multiplied by the difference, okay, between these two uh, densities, the solid, uh, which is the essentially 7,860, right? So I'm going to plug that in, 7,860, just to make it look nicer. And this is essentially 880. And great. Now, voila, take out the calculator. So... We got 2 multiplied by 0.8 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, multiplied by 9.8, divided by now by parenthesis 9 times 0 0.0432. And then we'll take that and for and there's an error. One more time. So 2 times 0 0.8 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, and be careful, times 9.8, divided then by parenthesis 9 times 0 0.0432. We get that value, and then we're going to take that and multiply it now by the 7,860 7, uh, minus then 880. And we get a decimal value here. It's going to be about 0.225 or so, 0.225, and that is Pascal seconds. Okay, that those are the units of, of uh, viscosity. Now, I mean, just looking back, I usually don't care, but I'm just thinking about it now. Uh, we have only one sig fig here in terms of the radius. So I guess technically, right, the, technically the answer would be 0.2, all right, but I, whatever, you know, you know how I feel about sig figs. All right, guys, hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.